Hey guys, Richie here with another Ableton quick tip. So we've all been in rehearsal before and started playing a song and thought to ourselves, man, that intro feels way longer than I thought it would feel. Or man, three choruses on the end sounds like way too many choruses. Or wow, two bridges, I wish we were doing four bridges. But we have a loop or we have a backing track and we're kind of locked into an arrangement and we can't change it at rehearsal. Well, I'm going to show you how to quickly change these arrangements um, in a rehearsal type scenario um, from session view. Well, actually, secret, we're going to go to arrangement view, but I'm going to show you how to quickly flip between the two to um, edit something. So here we go. All right, guys, so here I have holy ground in session view. The song has a count in, um, an intro progression, another intro progression, and then a verse. And I would like it to only have one intro progression. So here I have Holy Ground, and I have the song and the master tempo. Um, I then have a loop track and then a cues track. So first thing I would do is hit play. One, two, three, four. And all I'm doing there is um, hitting play so that Ableton's master clock syncs up with our song, um, just to be safe. So then I would click the loop clip and hold shift and then click the cues clip. I'm then going to hit command C to copy, go to arrangement view and zoom out. And I'm going to start it on bar three. For some reason, if you start it on the first bar, it kind of does weird things with the time signature. So we're going to start on bar three. Click right here and you got to make sure you click on the first um, channel here. And then I'm going to hit command V for paste. So now I'm in arrangement view, but it is grayed out, and we can't actually play it or edit it. And that's because this button is on, and this button is basically, basically telling Ableton we want everything to come from session view. So if you turn it on, off, I mean, voila, um, this is lit up, and we can um, now play things from arrangement One, view, two, three, which is exactly what we four. want. So I want to get rid of one of these intros. So it looks like we have our count in here by judging the cues. We have another intro um, guide, and then we have our verse. verse. Yep, our verse guide. So all I'm going to do is simply drag over this whole first intro, both, both um, clips, go to edit, and delete time. And that deleted the intro, and then moved the rest of the content forward so we don't have any blank space. So now let's listen to what we have. One, two, three. Verse. Awesome. So now our arrangement is like we want it, but it doesn't sound the smoothest. So what Ableton does for us is it does do an automatic crossfade, but it's not always in the best spot. So let's see if we can make one a little better. Let's see if we move it, I don't know, to here. And then we make the crossfade just a little more dramatic. Let's see what this sounds like. One, two, three, four. So that's not great. Um, but it works, and in this case, we're in a rehearsal and we're in a hurry. So if you wanted to go back and fix that later, you totally could and make that cleaner. But we're just going for quick here. So then I'm going to click, <coughs> hold shift, and select all of this. And then I'm going to double click, and then do consolidate time to new scene, and it's doing that for us. What this is doing is it'll create a new scene with this arrangement for us um, in session view. So then we have it right here, holy ground. We can rename it. Um, something to help us remember which arrangement this is. So let's do one intro. All right, let's play this. One, two, three, four. Verse. And there you have it. Awesome, so now we quickly in rehearsal fixed our arrangement, and if we want to clean it up so the crossfade's not as harsh or something, we could totally do that later after rehearsal. Guys, thank you so much. If this was helpful in any ways, please like the video uh, and subscribe for more helpful content coming out like this. Thank you, guys.